Hi, this is Ali Sharma, and uh, I just did a FPV flight, and I recorded using the uh, DVR. And now I'm showing the other possibility that you can actually connect the AV out of Dimension F4 radio to your big screen TV. All right, and you can fly FPV if you don't like the small screen. You can actually fly the FPV using your big TV. It's actually very, very difficult to get used to flying FPV on this little quadcopter indoors because the space is very confined and the drifting can easily get this to walls. But it's crash resistant. I've crashed it into walls a number of times when I'm practicing the FPV and it did not break. It's still flying very well. Let me give it a flight and we can see. Uh, Mariam is going to shoot the quadcopter first uh, and so you can see how stable it is in the air using Devo F4 and then maybe time by time she will shoot the video on the TV, you know, coming live video from the quadcopter. So you can see the OSD on the TV as well, and it's the same OSD on my screen right here. Okay, and you can also see the menu system of Dimension F4. So you have function menus, lots of functions for your airplane and helicopter, model menu, and you have your system menu where you can select video, sele uh, video uh, selection, uh, video channel selection. The thing that makes me laugh a lot is the vibrator function. Okay, Irish careful there. The vibrator function. Vibrator. I don't have to explain that anymore. Even Mariam is smiling. Okay, all right, Irish, come on here. Let's fly. Come here. Okay, sit down on your chair. Sit down there. Good boy. Ready? Here we go. Here comes the quadcopter. So you can see it's very stable. I'm not using any dual rates. Nothing is set. Right, you can see it's really stable on little moves and it's really fast if you want to go faster. So basically, awesome. If I'm looking at the TV screen and flying this quad, I can get disoriented, but with a little practice, I can actually fly a TV. All right, let me see. I'm going closer to wall. Left, right, going down. Let me see if I can get to another area. Mama! Oh yes, I have managed to... Crashed it there. Hold on. Arish, go picky picky the quadcopter for Baba. Picky picky and put it on the on the floor. Good boy. Yes. Put it down here. Very nice. This boy is going to be a very good pilot and assistant as well. Ready? Here we go. So I'm running out of battery so you can see we don't have much lift left. I can actually change the battery and fly it again. Alright, so I will actually leave it here. Careful, Arish, and disconnect the power so that Arish will Arshi. keep safe. Arshi. Arshi. Where's Arshi? Here's Arishi inside, right? Okay, so conclusion is... Arish Pleka. You practice on the radio, okay? So the conclusion is super fun, super fun machine when it comes to the indoor FPV. I am simply, simply loving yes. it. Yes, Arish put it down and he wants to fly now. So yes, yeah, super fun, super fun. I'm simply loving it. The only thing I don't like is the flight time because the FPV system is also taking power from the same battery. So the flight time significantly reduced. So basically I'm actually getting like three, four minutes of flight time only or maximum five to six minutes if I'm flying slow and hovering around, which is actually enough to have indoor FPV. You can buy lots of these batteries, tiny one, charge them and fly as per your time that you have. Whoever owns this QR Ladybird 2, I'm sure this little baby is gonna keep you busy for hours. Eh? Not for hours, for days or maybe constantly busy. Later when the weather is good, we will see how easy it is to fly it outside the window and go peep somebody, be some pervert and then bring it back inside the window. So stay tuned. I'll post the videos very, very soon. And this thing is going to be available on our website. Enjoy.